Fungiasis, a parasitic skin disease caused by the sand flea tunga penetrans, presents a significant public health concern in various regions worldwide, particularly in Central and South America, the Caribbean, and Sub-Saharan Africa. With prevalence rates potentially surpassing 50% in certain populations, including vulnerable groups such as children and the elderly, the burden of this ectoparasitosis is substantial. The impact of tungiasis extends beyond mere discomfort, as painful lesions, especially when located around the nail rim, can lead to sleep disturbances due to incessant itching and pain. Moreover, in resource-poor settings where access to proper hygiene and healthcare is limited, bacterial superinfection exacerbates the condition, often resulting in severe complications such as digit deformation, autoamputation, chronic ulcers, and even gangrene, significantly impairing mobility and diminishing overall quality of life. Despite its prevalence, tungiasis exhibits an uneven distribution within communities, with certain individuals bearing a disproportionately high number of embedded sand fleas. Factors such as age, housing conditions, education level, and socioeconomic status contribute to this disparity, highlighting the complex interplay between social determinants of health and disease burden. Efforts to understand the transmission dynamics of tungiasis have been hindered by the limitations of existing studies, which predominantly rely on cross-sectional examinations. However, recent advancements in research methodologies have enabled a more nuanced understanding of individual exposure levels. Through the development of innovative techniques for quantifying exposure, such as counting newly embedded sand fleas over time, researchers have gained valuable insights into the transmission patterns of T penetrants. The findings suggest that, on average, individuals experience multiple successful penetrations by female sand fleas per day, resulting in hundreds of lesions annually. This places tungiasis on par with other vector-borne diseases in terms of transmission potential, underscoring the urgency of developing targeted interventions to mitigate its impact on public health. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.